for uh, Linda Flanahan, who is the Sizzle web developer to create a dynamic web report that links directly with your SQL database. Click Add New Item. What we'll want is a web form. Let's change this. I want to see how many projects we've gotten from Hurricane Ice. So I'll just name it Hurricane Ice. Click Add. And you can see you don't need to know uh, HTML programming to use this program. It's already filled in for you. Over here on the left hand side we'll scroll down and find the data. And we're just going to click the grid view into the HTML. So let's look at this. Let's click on design mode. And then we'll just take the grid view and just snap it right into the design view. Then over here it's automatically opened up our toolbar. Over here we'll click new data source. I already have this configured for our vision database. So we'll select it, click next, and we'll save the default there. From here you can choose a table that already exists or even custom tables. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna use a custom SQL statement that I created in Microsoft SQL Studio. I've already run this and tested this report. And I'll just copy and paste that into Visual Web Developer. We'll click Next. I've already tested it in SQL Server, so I don't need to test it here. Click Finish. And you'll see the Visual Web Developer build automatically configures the report. Uh, we can format it. And let's use a professional style so that we have alternating rows. And you can also enable paging or sorting. This enables you to click on the column and sort by the column. From this point, save it, copy it to your web browser or your uh, web report that's connected to the SQL database, and then run the report. And you'll see it has dumped it into a web browser format. And you can sort by this column, or sort by the date column. And that concludes this tutorial.